Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing with the series Make a Game Like GTA. And we're gonna learn today how to rob the bank and also add the money to our player. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. And depending on your subscription from my Patreon page, you're gonna have exclusive uh, stuff like, for example, exclusive videos and photos, um, project files from from the YouTube videos, and also demos from my personal game or my uh, my game for free, thing like that. And also, I can help you create your own game if you want to. So if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in the tutorials or you need help in your projects, something like that, you can write, write me in the in the Discord. All these two, they're gonna be in my description from the video. And if you want to send me your games and projects so I can show you in the, in, in the channel, in the YouTube channel for free, you only have to uh, fill this form. So this is gonna be in the comment below. So you only have to put your name, your email, and what you want to that I do with your project, anything like that, or your game. So after that, we're gonna start the tutorial. So open your reel, and first we need to put the money in the bank, like I put it here. So I want to also uh, wrap to the Don's Donuts, so I'm gonna put another one here. So like that, it's a little big, so it needs to be it was much small, like maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, maybe it's too small, so 0 0.5 maybe, yes, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, so we need to rotate this a little bit and put this right here. So, okay, so if we want to show the money in the player, so we need to have a create widget. So we need to go to contents, DP, English, and here I want to create a new folder. So right click, uh, I want to call it UI, so user interface. I'm going to enter, okay, so right click, I want to say we need to use user interface, widget blueprints. I want to call it for now, had. You can call it like you like it, but for me it's gonna be okay, hat. So enter, you're gonna be a very basic, so only if we show the money right in the corner, right here, on the top, I wanna put it right here for now. So gonna be a, we need a text, so it's gonna be text. And put this whatever you like, I wanna put it right here. I'm gonna anchor this to the left, not to the right, and bottom right, sorry. And also, I want to change this to several so I can see how it is. I don't want to be in, in the left, so I don't want to be in the middle, so I'm gonna be right click. So, compound side for now. So, now we need to, uh, to bind this number with the player money. So, we need to go to the character, so I'm gonna be English uh, Blueprint, yes, uh, DP character right here. Uh, we have all these before so we need to create a new variable so a variable I want to call it player money for example you can call it like you like it or player money our is this gonna be a integer because we need to be a number so compound safe I'm gonna be zero right now so I'm gonna save it go to hard again so in here we need to bind this to the new variable we created so go to text Go bending, create new bending, and here, like, I wanna do it very basic, so I wanna disconnect this. And from here, they wanna cast to DP, uh, I don't remember, DP character English. So, object, they wanna be the player character, so get player character, because from the character we need it. And from here, we need to call that one. They wanna there was player money, yes. So get player money. And we need to hook this to return value. So we can show this in here. So connect this to this. And we are done in the widgets. So now we need to see the widgets in the uh, in the player in the screen. So we need to go to the player character, for example, 
go on here, gonna say begin play. Begin play. So on here, gonna be create widget. Create widget. So the class, they're gonna be the new we create, hat. The on we play is self. We don't need to, we already know it's self, so you don't need to do this stuff. So it's already self. So here, they're gonna be add to the viewport. You can use player screen, but it's better to use viewport. So like that, so compile and say, and we don't need nothing more from the blueprint. So now if you go play, we need to see we have zero in the right corner. Yes. So now I want to add this money. So when the player rob the bank, for example. So we need to enter to the blueprint. So you see this way. So go to edit money. And here we have this event when we interact with the object. So the only they do is destroy it. So we need to still destroy it. But before this, we need to do something here. So we need to go to the player reference. So from here, gonna be cast to dp character English like this. The object they gonna be get player character because it's the same but character like that. And from here we need the money. So get player money. So now we need to know how much we want to add to the player. So for example, I want to add 5,000, for example, they want to be add integer max integer. So they want to be 5,000, for example. So now we need to update this uh, quantity to this one. So from here, they want to be set player money like this, maybe this a little bit down this way here in this from here so and also when they finish I want to destroy the actor so now every time the player pick up this object they want to add 5000 so I'm gonna be playing so let's go I have parked my car here so I'll enter let's try let's park right here Oops, well, it's okay. <laughs> so let's go inside to the bank. Let's open the door. So now, if you see my money, they have several. So when I pick it up, I have 5,000. So I can run again. So I rob. So now I'm gonna go to this uh, here to the Don's Donut. I can pick it up this. So I have 10,000. So that is working. But we, uh, I don't like this method because it's all with the same kind of money, so it's not really realistic. So if you rob a bank, yeah, it's probably they have 5,000 and probably more. But if you rob a donut, uh, they don't probably have 5,000, so they're not really realistic. So we need to create a different way to make this more real. So in here, in the money blueprint, I want to change this stuff a little bit. So I don't need this. So I want to, uh, the money, they have this uh, bag of money or suitcase. I want to be a variable so I can change whatever I like. So when we create a new variable, I want to call this money, for example. They, they need to be the same like this one, so integer. Uh, I want to change this variable, in this variable. So I can change all the, uh, values from this one from the editor so it's gonna be more easy that way so we need to from the same here so play money i want to add integer plus integer i want to add the money they have in the suitcase so i want to update again the play money so now we're gonna buy and save right now the, the money they don't have is right is only seven so i want to change this but i don't want to change here so close here and now we have in the bank so in this one I wanna click in the object it said I already have here default money so I wanna say here for example 5,000 again so I'm gonna be the same but in the dons donuts cool name so I wanna change this to probably something more reality like 
250 maybe so I want to feel like that so we can save these or save it over here whatever you like it so let's try this now so we'll play so we have zero so let's drive again I hope I can park better right now <laughs> so let's stop right here oh my god well, I need to fix this <laughs> so if I go to the bank I want to open the door if I rob it I have 5,000 if I go here and pick this I have 5,250 so this is working perfectly fine so if you're doing the opposite way so you can see this working too so let's go again go to my truck uh, I don't even try to park right <laughs> because I'm very bad at parking so let's do <laughs> this way so go to the donut I pick it up I have 250 so if I go to the bank I open the door I want to close it so I want to pick it up, I have 5,250 so that is working perfectly fine so that's it for this tutorial so now you know how you can add the money to the player if you pick it up from some player from the bank or something like that later I want to add this um, better stuff for example I can aim so to the, uh, to the NPC so I can rob it directly but right now I don't have this already made it so for now we can pick it up and know how I can add money from that so that's it so thank you and see you in the next video so bye bye